You have proved that you fight well. Now you can join us. Keep cutting. Wake up, check your phone, ignore the alarm, you're still alone. Wake up, rewind the night. Who are you? But also kinda who am I? Wake up, check your phone, be party for the apocalypse, don't forget to RSVP. Think about how the polar bears are running out of ice. But hey, this photo got a lot of likes. Get down, but don't feel down. This is why we can't have nice things, like a clean car or world peace. So have the sleep from your eyes, and supersize your vibe. This is me trying to film on my new gimbal. You can see how it follows me. This is so cool. I'm so excited to not need to hold my phone while I'm trying to film on my phone. Hopefully it's not shaky. Hopefully everything is fine. It works! <laughs> Hello friends, I'm halfway through Queen of Nothing. It's not as good as Wicked King. I could already have guessed it by the length of the book's been away to Little Carden. It's currently the 3rd of September and I'm playing around with my new gimbal which is very exciting. Ah, uh, hold up, wait, follow if you feel like it. Ah, this is so cool! So, I'm currently on page 198 on the Queen of Nothing. My hope is to finish this one today, it's about 100 pages left. So far, it's not as good as the Wicked King. Is it even as good as the Cruel Prince? But this one, it's not that it's doing anything that I'm upset about, which the Cruel Prince did, but it's just more boring, I think. <laughs> which is quite sad, and I don't expect that much to happen in the last 100 pages. All I can hope for now is basically more scenes with Cardin, because that's honestly all I want. What I'm going to do now is I actually have to study. I'm taking an evening course in Czech, in the Czech language, and I will have a class at 5, and I do have some minor homework to do before that. So my plan is to finish that homework now, and then I'll continue to read and I'll see you guys soon. And I was disappointed. I was actually quite excited to finish the series and read this book because the Wicked King ended on such a good note. I enjoyed the Wicked King so 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 much and even the Cruel Prince which I don't think I actually like but it still provoked so many feelings inside of me and this one did nothing. I think it was too short like when there were things going on it just happened so quickly and you didn't really get affected by them. What I did enjoy about this one is that we get a lot more family time between the siblings, between Weeby and Taryn and Jude and Oak, which was very nice because, you know, from the previous books, it wasn't that good between them. So that was good. But <laughs> there was too little Carden. And when there was Carden, it wasn't enough Carden. My favorite part of the book, though, is when Carden acknowledges his own tale. Because one thing that is consistent uh, for me with these books uh, is that I'm very affected by the fact that Carden has a tail. It sounds super weird. I'm, I'm not weird, I promise. He says basically, I still promise to run, tail between my legs. And since I have a tail, 
That should be amusing for everyone. He's acknowledging his own tail and he's being funny about that. I did mark a few other sections as well. Another one was with his tail. And then we have a Carden and Jude moment, of course. A sweet quote. I had to mark that one. And then we have when Jude mentions what Ruby's gift to Carden was for the coronation and I thought that was really hilarious. Vivi has earned my respect. So that was that book. I think now before bed I'm actually gonna try and pick up Oof. this one. Let's see the font size. Not too bad. I kind of expected it to be worse. I'm here in bed. I have my Iliad. I have some stickers or post-it notes and a pen. I'm not sure yet if I will post-it note sections because I don't know what to expect from this one I'm not sure if the, it will be complicated if there will be a lot of history a lot of characters things like that so just in case I want to be ready if I feel like I want to mark things uh, in order to remember them for later on basically because now that I'm finally reading this one I'm gonna do it properly I'm gonna get through it and I'm gonna understand it because I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna read it again also this one counts for the Brats Readathon, from to read a book with a crown on the cover. And it also goes for the Mamma Mia Thon, for reading a book with Romans and or Smut in it. Now it's time to go to this one. I need to stop stalling. I just watched the first episode of, oh, I'm gonna butcher this, Chugakusei Niki, Chugakuse Niki, also called Meet Me After School. I just watched the first episode. I liked it. It was nice. It's different, actually, from other Japanese dramas I watched, I feel like. That can also be because most of the Japanese dramas I watched are a bit older, I guess. Uh, not that old, but still. But this one was actually quite beautifully made. Also the main lead for the female. Her name, the actress name is Arimura Kasumi. I remember really liking her performance in the movie Flying Colors, a Japanese movie. It's about a girl that kind of goes against all of the presumptions about her and goes from not caring about school to studying really hard, basically in order to show that she can uh, and to prove everyone wrong. Kind of like a Japanese legally blonde. Also the, the male lead, Okada Kenshi is his name. I've never seen him in anything before. He has a very handsome face, which reminds me of a mix of Taejong from NCT and oh, what's that guy's name? The Japanese actor, Fukushi Sota. So like mixing the two of them together makes that guy. Yeah, I, I've seen it in that movie, I did like that one. If you want me to ever talk more about Asian dramas, what I enjoy, my favorite dramas, favorite movies, favorite actors, actresses, if you ever want me to just fan girl about Asian dramas and movies, I guess, let me know. I can definitely do that. <laughs> Hi friends! I have not read anything yet today. I'm hoping to do some reading before going to bed though. Yesterday I finished listening to The Poet X and I really liked that one. I listened to it as an audiobook on script. It's about three and a half hours long only. I was so impressed by it. I didn't really know what to expect. The Poet X is about a girl who has Dominican heritage. A lot of what's being told in the book is about family, religion, growing up, sex, sexuality, things like that. It was a lot more hard-hitting than I expected it to be. I really really enjoyed that one and it just got better by the second. Great book, highly recommend. The one thing I would complain about, which I saw someone else comment on Goodreads, is that the end is kind of resolved too easily and quickly I would say. It's a lot of thought and intention going into the build-up of everything that's going on in the book and then we come to this major event. Everything just implodes. It all just gets resolved too easily I would say. It's been a good week though. I finished three books this week I think. It was Harry Potter, Poete and... Queen of Nothing. <laughs> I finished three books this week, very happy about that. We'll see how everything goes next week. I really need to get the move on on the Iliad because I'm about 30 pages in only and I have at least like 400 to go. Next week is the final week of the Mamma Mia Thon and the prompts I have left for the Mamma Mia Thon are reading a book featuring friendship, 
I plan on listening to the audiobook of Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus. Then we have to read a book with a 3.5 star rating or lower. That's the arc I talked about, the book we were starter. And I'll try to get to it this week as well. We'll have to see though. And then we have to read a book with a famous character. And for that one we have the Ilya. And then following that I can continue to focus on the Brass Readathon and Becca's Bookathon. So far I've done the best with the Brass Readathon actually because all three books I read this week could count toward prompts for that one. So I only have left to read a book with romance and to read a group book. And that's it from me, I think. Thank you so much for watching my vlog this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been having a lot of fun playing around with my gimbal. I'm only excited to see what more things I can do with this and hopefully bring you even better content in the future. But until the next video, take care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye! You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes